Hi everyone, and welcome to this Bracey Ag Services video on planning and granular insights. When we look at seed planning for a following growing season, we will be taking the information we've learned from analyzing historical data within insights and crop imagery from previous growing seasons to overlay that information on various soils or EROs, also known as environmental response units created by Pioneer. This can be done quickly and efficiently to make sure that we have the right product on the right acre, as well as making sure that we have a clean and accurate seed invoice. Let's go ahead and jump into an example and see how seed placement works within Granular Insights. Once we've logged in, we arrive here on our operations page where field boundaries are shown. On the left side of the navigation bar, we can see the word activities. Click on this at this time. From here, we can see we now have a list of fields available within this operation. Today, we will be using the same demo we've used in previous sessions. So let's get started with placing some products. There's multiple ways to do this, the first of which we need to establish a crop. Then we can select a variety. We can do this by selecting add crop here and then add variety. But if you like a little bit faster way, you can do this by selecting the checkbox at the side. Now you see a bottom bar appears. Click on either Add Activity, where we can choose to add planting or harvested data, or click Edit Details. Here, you can see that we can add the crop. For this selected field, let's choose corn. Now, a variety. To choose a variety on your invoice or to add a different one, just simply start typing. Let's go with P0306. Next, we must choose a seeding rate. And finally, a harvested product. Because we are corn, we will likely be choosing grain, but also if we are going to be uh, cutting this for silage, you can see we have different options below. Next, let's set our yield goal. Remember, in previous sessions, we went through our summary page, which in the left-hand side showed the averages for various years. It's important to recall this amount and make a realistic judgment as to what this field will yield. Now that all the parameters are set, click Save. Once the field is saved, notice at the top we have started to populate this bar with some acres. This will continue to fill up depending on what crop we place on the fields. It'll also be a good representation of our crop rotation for the following year. So let's go ahead and do another example and we can watch the bar fill up. Here, we'll try a different way. Let's select for this field, soybeans. We can also add a variety and rate to speed up the process. Here, we must select a date. And remember, when selecting a tentative planting date, this isn't set in stone. Additionally, because we are planting right now in the winter, we must scroll ahead to the following year. Once again, we can select a variety by simply typing. Once again, set our rate. And some of you may be wondering about this star right here. This is to make a variety or a population favorite where we can use this again quickly on future, future placements. The same can be done down here for seed treatment. Click Save once again. And we can see that we've now populated a small blue region up here for soybeans. The difference between the two steps that we have just done in placing the products is we still have to go back and set a yield goal, whereas in the first example we did that all in one step. With this being soybeans, let's set the appropriate bushels. 
and click Save. So now that we have a couple examples, you can see how easy it is to place these different products on here. The final way to do so is to click Add Activity, Planting, and we also arrive here at the Add Planting Activity window the same as before. Once you get done placing products on all of your acres, you can go to the top and select Planned Product Summary. Here we can see a, a breakdown of corn and soybeans, the varieties that we have placed, as well as the planned units and the acres that they will be on. A couple things worth mentioning before we leave is when we are placing products, if you are unsure in any way about how to place a product or at what rate to place a product, please feel free to reach out to us here at Braciac Services or your local Pioneer sales rep. Additionally, resources can be found on pioneer.com. So let's look at where we can find these. Navigate to pioneer.com and at the top we see we have our menu. Go to Tools and Services and then come down to Planning Rate Estimator. Here we can see we have multiple environments to choose, whether we're in a drought prone area or what Pioneer considers to be a standard site. Select the hybrid that we just placed on our fields, which was P0306, and enter in some cost and price parameters. Next, we can scroll down. Now, remember back to what we put on the field as a harvested bushels. This can be an average of what we think the field is going to run. And remember, on this particular field, we put around 215 bushels. So we will be likely in this area here, between 210 and 220. Pioneer's recommendation is to be right around 36.5 to achieve that goal. That is the planning rate estimator on pioneer.com. Another thing to consider is when we do these plans, they are not set in stone, as I said before. Here we have our activities on this particular field. We have planning and harvesting. Both of these will be overridden when we bring in data, either from a connection in our Manage Data tab, or through a thumb drive at the end of the season with as planted or as harvested data. That will become the actual data that the system uses. This now completes our planning video for Granular Insights. Be sure to see our other videos on growing and analyzing data, as well as our nitrogen tool. Thanks everyone for watching.